I don't know that this has ever been really looked at until today. I'm Dr. Buck and I've been a dentist for 14 years now. Until today, I've always told you that it doesn't matter whether you brush or floss first as long as you do both. In fact, if you ask any dental professional, you will get an answer, but I don't know that this has ever been really looked at until today. And now, I have a clear favorite for which order cleans my teeth better, and I will show you why as well. So on two separate days, after not brushing for 24 hours, I disclosed all the plaque in my mouth with these little tablets. On the first day, this is what my plaque looks like before I brush. Then I brushed, then after that, I flossed my teeth. Now here I am using my favorite brush and floss combination. If you watch my toothbrush comparison video, then you know why this is my favorite brush. So let's take a look at those results after brushing. You can see the brush did a good job brushing the anterior teeth, but the posterior teeth, it slightly misses some of the spots. Now this may be confusing because it left some plaque behind, yet this is my favorite toothbrush. Watch my video on how to brush with an electric toothbrush to know how to remove almost all the plaque and you'll know why this is my favorite toothbrush. But when I brush, letting the brush just kind of do all the work, you can see that we left some plaque behind and that is when flossing comes into play. While I love this burst toothbrush, the burst floss is even more amazing because of the way it tightens and expands and flattens against and between surfaces of my teeth. It tightens to fit between the teeth and then expands and flattens against the teeth to increase the surface area that pulls more plaque away from the tooth. There isn't another floss that even comes close to this. You can see the results are pretty great. There is a little bit of plaque left behind here and there, but overall it did a great job, especially compared to some of the other toothbrushes out there. Next, let's move on to flossing and then brushing. I start once again with burst floss. This is a great floss and now you're gonna see why. What is great about this shot is if I put it at regular speed, you can really see how this floss flattens against the plaque and really pushes and moves that plaque around. This is good because to stop cavities, all you really have to do is disrupt the plaque once every 24 hours. And if you saw my before shots, most of the plaque is between the teeth. Now, once I'm done with flossing, then I move back to the burst toothbrush. Now, the reason why this toothbrush does so well is its different length of bristles throughout the entirety of the brush head. So after two minutes of brushing, let's look at the results. Now these results are amazing. If you nitpick, you can see little spots where I miss, but those spots are mostly because of my brushing technique. And once again, you should watch my brushing technique video with the burst toothbrush and you'll really see why this brushing technique although it's recommended is not the best brushing technique and it works really well with this toothbrush. Anyways, I digress. The really impressive part is that there is nothing really in between the teeth after I brush and floss like this. Let's look at both of those results side by side. I think we can definitively say that flossing then brushing gets way better results than brushing and then flossing. Let's talk about why. After thinking about it more in depth, there are a lot of reasons why this is better. When cleaning your teeth, it is the floss that does all the majority of the work to knock the plaque loose in between your teeth. And once again, that's where most of the plaque is. Now the brush isn't near as effective the further in between you go and the further in between the plaque is. As you can see from day two, the floss will move the whole colony of plaque almost as a unit. But then the toothbrush's job is that much easier to do the detailed work now. Whereas when you brush first between the teeth, it just breaks up the colony so now it can't be moved around as easily by the floss. Instead, the floss is now doing the detailed work and not the heavy lifting of the whole colony. So the brush now just kind of brushes away the leftover plaque and is not meant to do the heavy lifting removal of the plaque between the teeth. When it comes to in between the teeth, the floss is the plow truck that you want doing all the heavy work and the toothbrush is the shovel you want to do all the detailed work. But also you may not know this, but electric toothbrushes that use that sonic movement as in sonic hair does and bursts do, what they do is they propel that saliva and toothpaste mixture through the teeth gaps. So when the saliva with the toothpaste moves between your teeth, 
it does two things if you have flossed before you brushed. First, the actual flow of toothpaste from the toothbrush propelling it through the teeth is enough to remove some debris itself. Not a lot, but some. And second, is that the toothpaste normally has fluoride that strengthens the tooth enamel. If plaque is still sitting in between your teeth, it will block the toothpaste fluoride from strengthening that part of the tooth. But if you have already removed that plaque with the floss, now when the sonic movements of your burst toothbrush push the saliva and toothpaste through your teeth, the fluoride can now be in contact with that part of the tooth. If you are interested in this toothbrush and especially the floss, make sure you click on the link below which will give you $30 off. Watch my video on the best toothbrushes, both manual and electric. Subscribe if you brush your teeth or love health and watch one of those videos now.